Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is a Penn or Johnson temp control. All right, this is a thermostat that is an SPDT. It's a single pole, double throw. So that means you have you could have one leg of voltage coming in, regardless of what voltage that is. It's a mechanical uh, thermostat basically that is able to either open up the circuit, so open it up on a temp rise compared to what you have it set at or it will open up on a temp decrease. So if that temperature is lower than what you have it set at, it will open these sets of contacts. With this type of control, you can actually uh, spread the gap from when it uh, opens and then when it shuts again. So when this is set at about minimum right here, uh, it has maybe about two to three degree temperature swing for where it turns on and shuts off, meaning open and close. You could adjust it maybe halfway up or so, and, and you end up having a 10 degree temperature swing. All right, I just want to thank SupplyHouse.com for uh, supplying us our part to look at today. You might want to give them an opportunity uh, if you're having a hard time finding different parts. They're pretty competitive and fast shipping. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out. We have these alligator clips hooked to the multimeter, and we have that set on resistance. Now we have our red right here, and we have our blue, okay, and then that's our yellow. So we have our red and blue, and those will be open anytime that the temperature is higher than what you have it set at. So presently you see that it's at 58 degrees in here, and let's go ahead and turn up the thermostat. Okay, so now we see that you have zero ohms of resistance. Now let's go ahead and turn it down. All right, so that was about a three degree temperature swing uh, for when this closes and when it opens back up again. So you see that we're at about 54 degrees right here. And when you turn it up, you're at about 58. And I will tell you that there's a little bit of slop with these mechanical ones like this. All right, that is not the uh, actual switch itself. It's just a plastic piece. Now you can turn up that temperature swing um, just by adjusting down here where my thumb is. So you see that we have zero ohms of resistance. Now let's go ahead and turn it down from 58 degrees and let's see when we open back up again. All right, we just opened back up right about 46, 47. We'll go ahead and turn it back up again. All right, and about 58. So see that you can adjust the temperature swing quite dramatically. Now let's go ahead and test uh, from red to yellow. Now anytime that the temperature is lower than what you have it set at, you'll be reading oh well. So let's go ahead and turn the temperature down. All right, and then it just clicked. So you see zero ohms of resistance. Now we'll go ahead and turn it up. And right at 58, it is opening back up again. So you see, it's going to end up closing when I turn this down. And that's about 3 degrees lower. And it's going to open back up at the temperature I set it at. Okay. Now you may find these temp controllers in a variety of different applications. Uh, you could find them mainly in refrigeration units. Uh, but also you might find them in heat pumps in the outdoor unit. And they're controlling when the how the heat pump turns off and when the fuel gas turns on. You may also find these used in, say, greenhouses to control the heater. Just because of that 3 degree temperature swing between when it turns on and turns off at, meaning opens and closes, compared to a 0.7 degree or 0.9 degree temperature change with a lot of the standard digital thermostats because you can't control it. So this unit is accurate. Now let's go ahead and take a look at one that is not accurate. All right, so now we're on this temp controller and it's once again 58 degrees in the room. Right now we're at zero and we read oh well. So anytime that the temperature is higher than what we have it set at, it should read oh well. So let's go ahead and adjust this. And you see already we have zero ohms resistance. This temperature is off quite a bit. It's actually off like 52 degrees. Crazy. Okay, so this is this is off big time. All right, and you also see that we were set down at the minimum down here. So right now we're at five, and let's turn it down. And at about one is when it's going to open back up again. All right. So very very off. 
not even close to what we should have it set at, which is at right about 58. Let's go ahead and check our red to yellow. Now this time, as long as we have the temperature lower than what we have it set at here, it should be open. Um, nowhere's close. Okay, right there. Once again, five degrees. It's closing, okay, and it's opening at about seven, maybe eight degrees. So this temp controller is definitely off, all right, and we need to replace it with a new one or a digital one. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.